Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, Happy Winter Solstice. Let's get started. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, even though we are expecting this to happen during the week of the 21st to the 27th. This is just an energy that this week is pulling in. Okay? So, and not every reading is for you. So this is this may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get an overall energy for Leo, please. One card. Solitude. So this is the hermit. So a need to go within. A need to withdraw from others and reflect and plan. Make a plan. Set goals for your future. Maybe that's what you're doing this week. Where you are withdrawing. You're planning. Taking time alone to reflect. Realizing your true identity. Right? This is what this is. It's becoming more awakened. It's becoming more enlightened. So this is a time of enlightenment. Now this, the Hermit is a card of Jesus consciousness. So it's becoming consciously aware of who you are through solitude. Okay, so this is completely going within and withdrawing and reflecting on your path. On your path. So I feel like that's what you're doing this week. You may be making plans. You may be reading a lot. You know, there's a lot, of, there's so many books. I mean, I don't even know, thousands, maybe even millions, I don't know, of spiritual help books, you know, that can help you with your awakening. You may be reading things. Maybe it's, uh, oh, where are they called? Self-improvement books, um, spiritual books, that kinds of thing. Um, going, You're definitely going through a spiritual awakening of some sort. You may be deepening your practice this week, deepening your your self awareness. Put it that way. You're learning something. You're learning something about yourself. <laughs> Guess we'll take those. Whale, great worry over nothing. I think you've had this one before. Horse, short journey. You may be taking a journey. You're worrying over nothing. Maybe you're alone right now and you're feeling lonely and you feel maybe you feel like you're, you're going to be alone forever. That's not the case. You're going through a spiritual awakening. If you're not alone, you're still going through a period of spiritual awakening. You're worried about something. There's nothing to be worried about. Everything is going to work out in your favor. I don't know what this short journey is, but apparently you're going to be taking one. It could be, it doesn't have to be a physical journey, okay? What do we have for Leo? Realizing your true identity, that's what's happening. Four of Pentacles, now this is stubbornness. <laughs> i just got to be honest with you. I mean, it's stubbornness, it's obsessive. Holding on to something that you might need to give away. And I and I say give. Don't sell it. Interesting, huh? This is holding on to something. Some of you may want to be wanting to save as well. Maybe you're trying to save. You're trying to save something. Maybe you're trying to save money. Or you, or you need money. Or you're trying to hold on to money. Or something like that. Or maybe you need some money. This is this could be obsessed with holding on to something. That's that's what it is. Woo! Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles is about abundance, a gift. 
receiving a gift manifestation this is a yes answer you're going to get what you asked for if you asked for something and if it's money or abundance or something you know you're going to get it you're going to get it. it may take some time because the hermit card is about time okay this is time you have to you have to really go within and manifest it and you can't do that with all the outside noise you may need to go within and manifest. If you're looking for money or you're looking for abundance, because this is abundance, looking for a new job or you're looking for a windfall or an inheritance or financial stability or financial security or you're trying to save some money, you have the power to get what you ask for. You have to have faith and you have to go within and you have to clear away the noise Okay, you have to clear away the noise. Okay, um, you're going to be don't going down a new path. The hermit goes down a new path, and we have a new path here. You are headed down a path that leads you to permanent stability. Okay, so you are going to, you're headed towards permanent stability. Okay, this is financial gain of some sort. Okay, this could be an offer, an investment, getting some money, or... You know, something could be a new house, could be a new car, could be um, a payout of some sort. You're going to be, it feels like you're going to be getting, getting some sort of money from somewhere. This is, this is something that is going to help you in some way, obviously. It's really going to help you. It's something that you asked for. So you're going to get something that you asked for. Ooh. King of Swords reversed. Hmm. Tug of War back and forth. I just want to get a couple more cards. New beginning. Um, I just get one more. Saying goodbye. Somebody's somebody's leaving behind emotional disappointment, and they're headed towards security. So congratulations. You see, that's headed towards security. Headed towards something permanent. Permanent stability. This is a new life. It's a new beginning. This is the end of, I don't know, if you've been in some sort of power struggle with an abusive individual. Because this is a power struggle. It feels like you've been struggling. You have been. Maybe you've been struggling financially. If you've been struggling financially, it's going to end. It is going to end. Trust me. Okay? Just just have faith. Um, the King of Swords in reverse. I'm not sure if you've been belittled or abused. Maybe there could be an absent father here or somebody that is just abusive. It could be somebody that you, um, I don't know if it's somebody that you work for. It could be a family member. I don't know what is going on. The King of Swords reverse is somebody that is cold hearted and doesn't care. Doesn't care. Going back and forth, five of wands, that's struggling, fighting, playing, that's tug of war, right? That's a game, playing games. I don't know if you've been playing games with somebody, but it's the end if it is. If it's if you've been playing games, going back with somebody that is abusive, that really doesn't care about your feelings, because I don't see, somebody doesn't care about another person's feelings, because there's really no love in these cards as of yet. And I feel like you are need to go within and really plan your future. Um, I think you're holding on to some sort of abusive situation where there's been a lot of back and forth games. Let it go. Please. Know your value. Know your worth. The Ace of Pentacles is about value. Hold on to your own value. Anyhow, the World Card is a major completion of a cycle. It's the, the, the turning your back on a person this is turning your back on somebody it is an actual person this person is cold-hearted this person doesn't care this person likes to fight this person um likes to win at all costs almost like you're dealing with a narcissist i feel like there's some sort of abuse here maybe it's blackmail you know maybe somebody's been paying you to work for them and they abuse you at the same time. And I don't know if that's the case, but they use you maybe. That's what it is. Anyhow, the world card is a major completion of a phase. It's, it's the end. It's an accomplishment. It's, 
it's turning your back on somebody and this is an actual person that you have been going back and forth with so yeah you are going to be turning your back on somebody and you're headed seriously right towards long-term stability i feel like you're getting a gift this is a gift it's a blessing something that you can save this is something that you can hold on to you're going to be getting something that will last this is saving and this is saving so something you can save a new life, a new beginning. This is the beginning. It's the end of one journey. You have been on a journey with an individual that probably, I mean, doesn't care. I mean, this person is abusive. Yeah. And I think that you've been playing this game for a long time. Anyway, I think it's over now. I think that you are becoming more real, realistic. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is also a reality check. You may be getting an offer, you know, that leads you down a new path oh, that that maybe there's a move involved with the world card. There could be a transfer or um, travel or moving, you know, um, change of residence. There could be a change of residence, uh, saying goodbye to something that is emotionally disappointing. This is this is definitely the end of an abusive situation. Okay, I feel as though you've learned some sort of lesson with that world card. That is a lesson learned. You've accomplished something. You're leaving the past behind. You know, um, I feel like you are completing one, one chapter of your life and you're beginning a new one. This new one is much more abundant than the last one with that ace of 2021 is going to be a lot more abundant. Take a look at that. Okay? It's going to be a lot more prosperous. But it only happens after you walk away. And you notice this is this is walking away from this battle. Okay? This is mirroring each other. So you have to turn your back. And this is turning your back as well. You have to turn your back on somebody that you have been playing games with. Because Tug of War is a game. It takes two to play. So you've been playing games with somebody, okay? It takes two to play. You can't play tug of war by yourself. So you've been playing with somebody that has been controlling you in some way. You've been holding on to this person because of the, the struggle is real to let go. You've been holding on to this person. Maybe it's because of ego, you know? Maybe, maybe there's fear of being alone, not getting any attention. It's better to be alone than to hold on to somebody that doesn't care about you. So anyway, this is the end of the end of holding on to this person. You're going to be getting something so much bigger, brighter, and better. Okay? So I do see you definitely taking a journey. Okay? You're going to be taking a journey. You're leaving behind this battle. You're leaving behind this person that uh, doesn't care. Anyhow. Um... Oh, God. Lovers reverse. Now, that's the end of a contract. Okay? It was a false contract. There's no compatibility there. There's disharmony. There could be a fight. There's a conflict. There's a disconnection. There's one-sidedness. There's going to be a separation. There absolutely is going to be a separation from somebody that you are not meant to be with. And I feel like you've been having a very, very, very hard time moving on. But I feel feel like this week you are going to be going down a new path, okay? You may get some sort of approval, you know, with that Ace of Pentacles. That's some That could be an approval or, you know, a gift or a new job or a new home or acceptance or something like that. You're definitely headed towards something that will be permanent. A permanent um, fixture, whatever that means. I wanted to say fixture, so that's what I'm going to say. Um, this is the end of a loveless situation because there's no love in this situation. There isn't. There may have been some sexual attraction, but I don't see any love. 
Somebody may have used you. And there's that's an obsession. So there's some sort of obsession, obsessed with, you know, holding on to this abusive individual. You got to let go. You have to let go. Just give it away. It's funny because I said just give it away. Let somebody else take the abuse. You don't need it. Let them deal with it. Anyhow, you need to leave behind a partnership that is not compatible. All right? And I feel like this week you're going to be doing that. I think that you have learned some sort of lesson from this person that has abused you and took advantage of you and didn't care about you. I feel as though this lesson that you have learned has caused your evolution. It has. And now you see your value. Or you're going to be, hopefully. You have a new opportunity coming in. It's huge. It's huge. 2021, you're going to be a whole different person. That's what I see. Then you were the last, oh, what is it, four or five years? It feels like the last four or five years has been a constant battle. It's been a constant struggle. It's been rough. It's been rough the last four or five years. You've had a really hard time letting go and a hard time being alone. But I think being alone is better and maybe you realize that now. Anyhow, you are you are headed towards abundance. So get prepared. Get prepared to receive an offer or a windfall or an inheritance or a payout or a gift or something. Okay, there could, that moves you forward. This could be January 2021. Doesn't have to be. But what I, something is happening this week that is really going to, this is success, that leads you towards success. You have successfully learned your lesson from a contract. You have. Now you're going to be given a gift, a reward per se. I feel like we have a new contract here as well for some of you. Even though this one's reversed, I, keep, I just keep on looking at this book. I feel like there's a new contract. You may be signing something. New living circumstances for some of you as well, like moving. Ooh. Four of Swords reversed. Now, you, this is exhausted, extremely exhausted, tired, ill, poor health, drained, need, need to take a break. You need to take a break. You need to. You need to plan your move. You need to, you need to work on your future. Start planning. Take, take time to, uh, it feels like cleanse as well. Cleanse your environment. Change is on the horizon. Absolutely. This is a profit and a loss. A loss that leads to a gain. You're going to need to be flexible and need to adapt because a change is coming. Because you make a choice, you're, because you make a, you're going to be making a choice. You are going to be making a choice to leave something behind. And because you make a choice to leave something behind, you're going to get some sort of happy reward that makes you, you know, this may be a little chaotic. You may be experiencing some chaos because of a change that you are experiencing. It may seem a little overwhelming. You may be tired. You may be tired because you are uh, leaving something behind and it takes work, you know. You're, there's a need to, trying to find balance, trying to deal with this change. So I feel like you're definitely dealing with a change this week. 
you're going to have to make a choice and you're going to need to be flexible and accept you're probably you do have to let something go you can't have both and and it feels like you're trying you can't have both okay you got to choose one or the other you got to choose one path over the other you can't keep and this is a game as well this is juggling is a game and it's, it's like you've been playing games be done playing games no more games choose one path make a decision and stick to it now if this, you could say this king of swords was you the king of swords in reverse is somebody who can't make a decision in reverse make a decision and stick to it if you want success make a plan set a goal focus stop playing games and get moving and maybe that's why you need to go within this week to focus on your future plan no more playing games with this false contract that has already taught you a lesson the two of pentacles is a realignment Okay, there's earthly powers when you see the two of pentacles. There's earthly powers larger than yourself that are trying to align you in the right direction. 100%. They're trying to bring you towards abundance. But you got to stop playing games. And you have to turn your back on the player that you've been playing with. And you need to head down that path. You need to have faith. You're going to need to face your fears. You're going to be giving an, be given an opportunity very, very, very soon that allows you to leave some sort of contract behind that really doesn't suit you take the offer you can take it right to the bank this is something you can hold on to probably forever but you have to be willing to make the right choice and you have to be willing to accept change. And you got to stop hanging on. Because you've been hanging on. Hanging on here, hanging on here, hanging on here. Stop hanging on. Let go of your side. Just turn around and walk away. Good luck.